Welcome back to Uncover Federal. In the realm of federal law enforcement, there exists an entity as old as the nation itself, an agency whose history is interwoven with the growth, expansion, and development of the United States, an organization committed to ensuring the smooth functioning of the federal judiciary and maintaining the rule of law. Today, we turn our focus on the U.S. Marshal Service. The U.S. Marshal Service was born from the Judiciary Act of 1789, under the presidency of George Washington, making it the nation's oldest federal law enforcement agency. Today, over 200 years later, the Marshal Service continues to play a pivotal role in maintaining law and order, acting as the enforcement arm of federal courts. The service is divided into 94 districts, each headed by a U.S. Marshal, mirroring the structure of the federal court system. Their primary duties are wide-ranging and impactful. They include protecting the federal judiciary, apprehending federal fugitives, managing and selling seized assets of criminals, housing and transporting federal prisoners, and even operating the witness security program. The U.S. Marshals Service is steeped in a rich history and lore that often feels pulled straight from the pages of an Old West novel. It's a chronicle of legendary lawmen, infamous outlaws, and daring operations. It's a story of grit, perseverance, and unwavering commitment to justice. When it comes to careers within the U.S. Marshal Service, the opportunities are as diverse as they are rewarding. Marshals, deputy marshals, detention enforcement officers, judicial security inspectors, and many other roles make up the robust roster of the Marshal Service. Each role plays a crucial part in ensuring the federal judiciary system operates smoothly and our communities remain safe. The path to becoming a marshal is one of dedication, resilience, and commitment. It involves rigorous training, constant learning, and a steadfast devotion to upholding justice. It's not just a job, it's a calling. A calling to serve and protect the very foundation of law and order in the United States. Over the course of this video series, we'll delve deeper into the intricacies of the U.S. Marshal Service, exploring its history, its operations, and its role in shaping the law enforcement landscape. One of the highlight of the operations that United States Marshals have done recently was Operation Lone Star was a large-scale law enforcement initiative orchestrated by the state of Texas in response to an increase in criminal activity and other public safety concerns along the Texas-Mexico border. The operation involved multiple local, state, and federal agencies, including the U.S. Marshals Service, working together to combat criminal activities and ensure safety and security in the area. The Marshal Service, known for its expertise in tracking and apprehending fugitives, played a significant role in this operation. Tasked with locating and arresting violent fugitives and gang members, their objective was clear, to disrupt criminal activities and bring offenders to justice. For Operation Lone Star, the Marshal Service was not just working in the urban centers, but also in remote rural areas, grappling with challenging terrains and elusive fugitives. Their skills were tested to the fullest, showcasing their adaptability and relentless pursuit of justice. A key element of the operation involved a combination of intelligence-led policing and high-intensity, targeted enforcement actions. Information sharing and strategic coordination between different agencies were pivotal in identifying and apprehending wanted individuals, some of whom were linked to violent crimes like homicide, assault, and sexual offenses. The operation had a significant impact. Thousands of criminal arrests were made, and a multitude of weapons, narcotics, and illicit currency were seized. The results highlighted the capabilities of the Marshal Service, their crucial role in collaborative law enforcement, and their dedication to protecting public safety. Remember, Operation Lone Star isn't just a law enforcement action. It's a striking example of how multi-agency efforts, led by dedicated professionals like the U.S. Marshals, can tackle complex public safety challenges. This operation underscores the Marshal Service's commitment to its mission, to ensure justice and maintain peace, from the bustling city streets to the most remote corners of the nation. This is just one of the many initiatives Marshals form part of. It can lead to a very rewarding, fun, and exciting career path. So you're probably wondering, what kind of teams can a Deputy Marshal join within the U.S. Marshal Service? Let's delve into that. Field and Tactical Operations Imagine being in the heat of the action where adrenaline runs high and every day brings a new challenge. That's what the field and tactical operations are all about. This includes the Special Operations Group, Fugitive Task Forces, and the Investigative Operations Division. These folks are the boots on the ground, dealing with everything from high-risk situations to tracking down the country's most wanted, judicial security, and witness protection. 
Now, let's move over to the judicial security and witness protection teams. These are the guys and gals who keep the wheels of justice turning smoothly. The Judicial Security Division looks after the safety of judges, jurors, and ensures court proceedings run without a hitch. The Witness Protection Program, on the other hand, works behind the scenes to safeguard those brave souls who step forward to testify against major criminals. Technical Support and Transportation Services. Last, but certainly not least, we've got the Technical Operations Group and the Justice Prisoner and Alien Transportation System, also known as JPATS or CONAIR. The tech group is all about supporting operations with advanced tech, from tracking fugitives to online investigations. JPATS, meanwhile, is like the Marshal's very own airline, handling the safe and secure transportation of prisoners between facilities. Each of these groups offers a unique path for a deputy marshal, and it's these diverse roles that make the U.S. Marshal Service the multifaceted law enforcement agency it is today. Speaking of units, let's turn our attention back to a name you might remember from earlier in the video, Operation Lone Star. The initiative was so successful, the U.S. Marshal Service rolled out a second chapter early this year, Operation North Star 2, and I've got to tell you, it was every bit as impactful. Operation North Star 2 was a 30-day concentrated effort to combat violent crime in 10 cities, stretching from Albuquerque, New Mexico, to Puerto Rico, places that have been grappling with a surge in homicides and shootings. This wasn't just a numbers game. The mission was about focusing on the most serious, violent, and harmful offenses. The goal? To zero in on fugitives wanted for crimes like homicide, forcible sexual assault, robbery, or aggravated assault. They prioritized those who used firearms in their crimes or who displayed risk factors associated with violence. The outcome? A resounding success. The operation resulted in 833 arrests including violent criminals, sex offenders, and even self-identified gang members. Those arrests included 95 for homicide and 68 for sexual assault, and the Marshals Service also seized 181 firearms, over $229,000 in cash, and more than 160 kilograms of illegal narcotics. A couple of notable arrests caught my eye. There was Walter Abbott, who was arrested in Rio Rancho, New Mexico, for an attempted homicide and aggravated burglary with a deadly weapon. Then there's Paris Jackson, who was picked up in Buffalo, New York, for criminal possession of a weapon and for shooting at a police officer. Director Ronald Davis of the U.S. Marshal Service noted the operation's focus on the most significant drivers of violence and expressed his confidence that apprehending these offenders will contribute to overall violence reduction efforts in each city. I will now show you a video of the U.S. Marshals who participated in this operation talking and sharing their experiences with it. Enjoy the clip. U.S. Marshals with a warrant, come to the door. This national initiative is uh, helping the state and local with their violent offenders. The warrants, that's what we're concentrating on, trying to give them some help up here to make the community safe. There's a locked door upstairs. She said none of my doors are locked in the house. She gave us the key and found him hiding up in the cubbyhole. What was he wanted for? Well, he's assault. A couple of prior murder cases he had. So now he is on his way to the county. I think this is a great initiative. I mean, I know this is going across 10 cities in the United States. I think it's a collaborative effort of all our jurisdictions and all our different partners. It, the community is going to see that we made a difference. Operation North Star is very important for Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is a jurisdiction that experienced a lot of violent crimes. So we relied a lot on uh, the local partners to be able to be more aggressive in reaching out to the community because we understand that moving strategically will be more effective. Sean and I will be on the west side of the building on foot, hidden, in case he runs. 
Sadly, Albuquerque has been identified in the last several years as one of America's most violent cities, so we have an incredible obligation to address that. Thankfully, we have incredible partnerships with our state, local, and federal partners, even our tribal partners, who are also very committed to that. So Operation North Star gives us an opportunity, again, to lead and to bring everybody together to focus on specific areas of our city that are in desperate need of, of our services, and that is to attack violent crime. U.S. Marshals, you have an arrest warrant. Open the door. These men and women are up to the call no matter what, and they do it with honor and professionalism and pride because we have people who are from this community, invested in this community, and don't have plans to leave this community. There's a lot of strength in that. I hope you found that video as captivating as I did. It really puts into perspective the incredible and impactful work the U.S. Marshals do on a daily basis to keep our communities safe. These real-life heroes are out there, enforcing the law and making a difference, and it's truly inspiring. In the next video, we will be specifically covering the hiring process to become a U.S. Deputy Marshal. If you're considering a career in federal law enforcement or you're curious about what it takes to join the ranks of these dedicated professionals, you won't want to miss it. More on the U.S. Marshal Service is just around the corner. Until then, stay safe and informed. Thank you for watching.